Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On this video, we will paint Leona's shield and sword from the solar eclipse skin. Without further ado, let's get to painting. We will start with a mix of German grey and Abaddon black, roughly one to one mix, and paint the base of the shield. Keep the mix at hand, as we will use it a lot in this video. Moving forward, we will paint the rims of the shield base with iron hand steel. In case you paint over the dark grey, reapply the mix at the location. As with every metallic we have used so far, a nice shade with null oil is required. Going back to the iron hand steel, we will make highlights across the raised areas of the back of the shield base. As a second highlight, we will pass only the most raised edges with storm host silver. After the last step, the shield base is done and we can move to the shield sides. Just as we started, we will take our one-to-one -one mix of Abaddon black and German grey and paint the shield sides. We may paint the whole piece with the mix as a base, since we will overlay everything we need later. The areas at the very sides that are a bit raised will be painted with iron hand steel. Since we use the metallic, it is time to give it a shade using null more. We will paint the areas near the edges with iron hand steel to give them a bit of a highlight. We shall now do a bit of edge highlighting with storm host silver. With the last step done, the shield sides are completed and we will now move on to the shield front. Like the previous parts, we will start with a one-to-one -one mix of German grey and Abaddon black, painting the whole piece. The shield front has three distinct levels. We will paint the upper two levels with iron hand steel. A nice bath in gnome oil will follow. Going back to Iron Hand Steel, we will make highlights on the most raised level of the shield front.
Finally, we will make edge highlights with storm host silver. Panel the made shield piece, the shield top, will get a nice base coat of our one to one mix of German grey and Abaddon black. With the belly of a small brush and pure German grey, we will make some edge highlights. Finally, we will end the piece with a coat of ashen grey over all the raised areas. For the eclipsed sun, we will need Dorn Yellow. We will work from bottom to top for better results. From the middle and upwards, we will paint the piece with a one-to-one -one mix of Corn Red and Aberland Sunset. Finally, the upper part of the piece will be covered with Abaddon Black. Your finished and assembled shield should look like this. Moving to the sword hilt, give it a base coat of our German grey and Abaddon black. Paint the diamond at the bottom of the hilt with white scar. Any other white paint will also work. Once the white has dried, we will paint over it with Volupus Pink. Next part is the blade. We will start with Screamer Pink and paint the internal part. Coming up next, a mix of Pink Horror and Aberland Sunset, roughly one to one mix. We will paint a small flame coming from the base of the sword. We will highlight that small flame with a mix of Kidian Flesh Tone and White Scar. Once again, the mix is one to one. To finish the flame, we will do a final coat of pure white scar over it, taking this time a little less space. We are going to paint the circle over our flame with Abaddon Black in order to simulate an eclipse. Making a one-to-one -one mix of corn red and Averland sunset, we will paint along the blade. We are going to use our normal mix of German grey and Abaddon black and paint the base of the sword. We are also going to paint the raised border-like areas along the middle.
using a new mid tone point one of plush kids yellow and mephiston red we are going to paint closer to the edge of the blade on top of the previous layer we are going to apply a mix of flask gets yellow and dawn yellow one to one mix finally we are doing edge highlights with pure dawn yellow Going back to the base, we will use pure German grey and make some highlights. Finally, we will layer over some of the previous highlights at the base of the blade with etching grey. Here is the result of our work on the blade. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this video or a comment, it really helps. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.